late to save what is broken. Too late, too late to keep what's already there. Hey, my name is Nathan James, and I am from San Diego, California. And I play roots and blues music and uh, my own original stuff that is all inspired by everything related to roots and American Americana classic music. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but I just throw it all together and make my own sound. And uh, I'm here for you today from San Diego, California. <laughs> As we climbed and we climbed, but we reached a rocky hill. Mm -hmm. Back down, turn around. And now many tears are falling. Looks like we just might have today. Well, I grew up in a small town, uh, Fallbrook, California, which is North San Diego County. And uh, I, somehow I uh, got into the blues growing up there because I w there wasn't much to do. So I just was lucky to have, there was a radio station that played old blues music late at night. And uh, that got me first started on that. And I kind of worked my way into blues and roots music through classic rock music, I guess, uh, through the Allman Brothers and Cream and Jimi Hendrix. But uh, they, they were my first taste into the world of blues. And so I started going to the swap meet, we call it, where they sell secondhand things. And uh, there was a record guy there that sold old records. And he would recommend uh, records for me to buy. So I, I would get old Almond Brothers records. But then I started to find these names on those records, like uh, Blind Willie McTell and Robert Johnson. So I got my first Robert Johnson record from him there. And then it just kind of went from there, and uh, it got into all the different aspects of, of blues, basically, from Chicago blues. And then I started, uh, I got lucky to start playing with some local harmonica players around uh, North San Diego County. And uh, that led me to getting the gig with the great James Harmon, great uh, blues legend, harmonica player, singer from Alabama. And he took me on the road when I was 19 years old. And, uh, it was kind of my blues uh, education there, driving around the country, going down in the south, going down Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, down to Florida, uh, Mississippi, you name it, everywhere, Texas. And, uh, we would just, I would listen to music while we're driving in the van of, of uh, all the different uh, artists from those regions as we'd drive into town. So it was kind of a nice firsthand uh, education of the blues I was very fortunate to have. Yes, it was in the spring And the birds began to call I'm gonna find me a woman Find me a woman Just to be my all-in-law My all-in-law Well, since I come from a real uh, rural, down-home kind of uh, influence in my music, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, music made on the homemade instruments, including the washboards, and, and they would play jugs, jug band music, and they would have the wash tub bass. And I used to have a duo where we did a lot of that stuff, jug band kind of music. And uh, the other the guy that I played with, he would play a washboard. And uh, after we, we stopped playing together after a while because he retired from music, I uh, was trying to think of ways that I could incorporate some of that uh, different sounds and styles. And so one night it just kind of dawned on me to experiment with a guitar. There's a, a, a well-known Mississippi bluesman in Clarksdale, Mississippi that makes guitars out of anything imaginable. So I had always got a kick out of seeing his instruments online, seeing pictures of them. And so I, he kind of inspired me, and his name was Super Chicken. He goes by and he makes stuff out of like toilet seats and uh, 
gas cans and I didn't want to copy them so but I was just thinking what what crazy thing could I make a guitar out of and so I figured it out one night to make it out of a washboard and specifically these travel size washboards they, they work really well for my traveling because they they fit in a in a guitar bag and they're smaller than a regular guitar and I could put two of them in one bag and it's just a board behind the washboard with the neck attached to it and the strings going through. And it's really simple, really. <laughs> so what's the effect? Well, yeah, I mean, it's basically a standard electric guitar. Acoustically, it doesn't have much sound. I mean, I guess the, the washboard resonates a little bit, but the main ad advantage that it can do is, uh, and I didn't even think of this when I first made it, but uh, I had used the metal finger picks when I play the country blues picking on acoustic guitar, and so I realized, wow, it's right there. Why don't I, and this is perfect. <laughs> I can scratch right on the washboard, so that kind of became my thing for a while. And I got the opportunity to meet Super Chicken in uh, Clarksdale uh, some years back, right after I made my first washboard guitar, and so I was really excited to meet him. He was kind of like an idol of mine. So I, I had to show him what I made, and he, he got a kick out of it. And I asked him, did you ever make any of these? And, and he said, yeah, I made one of those before, and I sold it. So, of course, that's why I don't claim to have invented this, because I'm sure it's been done here or there. But, but uh, and he was able to, to scratch on it right away, too. It was kind of a similar style. But, so yeah, it's kind of fun, you know. I throw it in. I don't, you don't want to do it on every song, because it can be kind of grating. But... But it's kind of fun, you know, and then now I, it's kind of become my thing. I play other nice guitars that I have, but regular guitars, but they feel weird to me. Now I'm kind of used to the size of this one. So that's what I keep doing. This one is a Strato washer. This is the, my third or fourth one I made. And uh, I incorporated the whammy bar system of the Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> I really like the early rock and roll sound that Ike Turner did and the yeah. Buddy Guy. And <laughs> so it's fun, you know, you got to have fun with yourself. You can't take it too serious. So maybe I'll make a new one this year if I have the time. Yes, I'm raised in a small brook town. Oh, yeah. When I get back home Before I get back home I just can't rest at night I'm so far from my home Said I just can't rest at night Can't rest at night Can't rest at night Can't rest at night to the country.